Hi, this is Marianne from Marianne's Yarn Studio. Right now I'm working on this pretty doily called Lenny. It's uh, written by Gloria Penning and uh, is published in Knitted Heirloom 3. Uh, this picture does, know it, does not do it justice. Right now I'm working on these V's from this angle. It looks like a V. And I have done this point here, and I am now starting the diamond pattern right here. I'm right at this little spot. Um, you can't tell by looking at the doily, which looks like a bag. But I have done all these written instructions. And I'm now at this portion of the written instructions. Now... I did a yarn over, knit two, knit two together, yarn over, knit three, knit two together, yarn over, knit three, yarn over, slip, knit two together, pass the slip stitch over, yarn over, knit three, yarn over, uh, slip, knit the stitch, pass it over, knit three, yarn over, slip, knit one, pass it over, knit two, yarn over, slip, knit two, pass pass it over. Knit two together, that is. Okay, now I'm on this round here where you knit around, you cut off your yarn, you slip nine, and then you tie a new thread on and begin round 77. I made a photocopy for my magnet board. For those of you not familiar with photocopy, laws, you can make photocopies. Once you've bought the pattern, you can make a personal photocopy so you can uh, put it on, on a magnet board. Um, so much easier this way. You need to do it line by line. Right now I'm about halfway through Row, round 77, and I'll be showing you how you can read your knitting um, as you go along this round. Okay, right now I'm on the yarn over, knit three yarn over, slip, knit two together, and pass it over. So I have done a yarn over, knit three, and now I do a yarn over, I slip, I knit two together, Try to. Looking at the camera. I do a yarn over and knit three. Okay, now I'm at this pattern here at the V's. And these are pretty straightforward. Um, here in the pattern, you do a slip knit, pass it over, knit three, and then a yarn over, and then you do the same thing and knit two. Okay, so we do a yarn over, we do a slip, knit one, pass the slip stitch over, knit three. We do a yarn over, we slip, knit, pass the slip stitch over, and knit two. Okay, now we do a yarn over, slip, knit two together, and pass it over. So, what this looks like is it looks like a mistake, but what we're actually doing is doing the other side of this point. And you'll see when we do this how it looks. Okay, let's get a little bit past it. Now we're at the beginning of the row. We're at, uh, at the yarn over, knit two, knit two together. So I did a yarn over, knit two, knit two together. And a yarn over, and knit three, and knit two together. Okay, so now let's go back and look at this point. This is what we did here. 
Now the only way to make this point with all these yarn overs, and these yarn overs will show up better after I block it, and all this will lay nice and flat, um, is we did the same thing on one side, and then we have to do the the um, slip knit two together on the other side. And so the point is not exactly lined up, but when you block it, it lines up pretty well. And uh, that's how it's done in this pattern. So as you go along, um, you can read your knitting and see where you do your knit twos and your knit threes and, and then your decreases. Okay, now we're to this portion where it's yarn over, knit three, yarn over, and then slip knit two together, and that's the beginning of one diamond. So yarn over, knit one, two, three, yarn over, slip, knit two together, pass the slip stitch over and do a yarn over and knit three. And this may be a little difficult to see, but on when we do our next row, this is the beginning of our first diamond. Um, as we go further, we'll be building and doing more diamonds as we go into the space between the V's. Okay, so just uh, we did we did the slip knit two together, yarn over, knit three. So now we're at the slip knit purl, knit three. So here we do our slip knit purl knit three slip knit one pass it over knit three and now we're back to our Sorry, that should have been a knit too. It looks like on the row below I didn't do a decrease. Okay, so if we were to go back, all the way back, the chances of dropping stitches and making mistakes are much higher. So what I'm going to do here is do a correction going to slip, knit, knit two together. And this is a little error, but in the end it won't show up. And that keeps us on the right stitch count. Okay, so then we knit two. And then here we do our slip, knit two together. And that creates the loop for our other point. Okay, just to show you that again, this is the slip knit two together, pass it over at the end, and that gives us our point right there.